is 46 past the hour and joining us now on the set here in Charleston, the mayor of Charleston, Joe Riley, and also minority leader for uh, South Carolina House of Representatives, uh, Democrat Todd Rutherford. Good to have you both on board with us this morning. Really appreciated on such an important day. Mr. Mayor, can you tell us what we're looking forward to today in terms of how we approach what has happened here? Well, this is a historic moment for this city. Uh, the president, vice president, and the first lady and second lady coming here to to mourn, as well as to help us focus on the future and uh, and for the city, the outpouring of love and unity. This hateful person came here. He came from away. He wasn't from Charleston, bringing hate. And he created love. Uh, he brought division. Uh, he's created unity. He was a symbol of the Confederate battle flag. It's coming down. Uh, it is. It, is that it, a good thing? It's oh, it's a very good thing. It's important. It's long overdue. Right where we're sitting, 15 years ago, I began a march, walked from here to Columbia, 110 miles, to protest the flag above the state capitol, and we got it off the dome. Uh, it was U.S. flag, state flag, Confederate flag. We got it off the dome. And then, unfortunately, the legislature didn't put it in the museum then, as we had urged. They put it on the state grounds. But uh, it's it's very important. We need if we need symbols in front of our Capitol building for everybody, and everybody. And the Confederate battle flag obviously is not a symbol for everybody. Representative, uh, when when will we see the flag moved to a museum? I spoke to the speaker yesterday, and we are going to go back in session the week after July 4th. We're going to start on that Monday, and I hope that by Friday that flag will come down. Okay. Talk, talk about what you've seen this week. We've been talking about reconciliation, a uh, 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 hateful racist who wanted to start a war between the races has instead done the opposite. Talk about what you've seen. He failed miserably, uh, and him coming to this church because of its historical significance, he truly just picked the wrong place. Uh, he's from Columbia. His father and grandfather actually live right around the corner from me. Uh, and so it's astounding that he came down to Charleston to do this. But, you know, it's one of those things where we're all looking now to the future. I've gotten so many calls from Republican lawmakers that want to know what they can do, from the Republican Attorney General want to know what he can do, from the head of the Department of Corrections who used to work in the governor's office, what can we do? Can we give money? Are we going to make sure this money goes to the right place? Can we take down the flag? Let's look at the statues. Everything is in play now because we want to make sure that South Carolina is always seen in the light which is appropriate. We're all good people. We want the world to know that this was an abhorrent situation and someone that does not represent South Carolina. Talk about South Carolina. We were just uh, we were talking. Al Sharpton had said, Mr. Mayor, that that he actually felt the spirit of Martin Luther King here over the past week. Talk about a state that was the the first state to, to break from the Union at the beginning of the Civil War. Uh, that's had a, a, a very terrible history when it's come to race relations over the past 300 years. And yet it seems with an Indian American governor, uh, we're talking about, about uh, a, a black Republican senator weeping openly on the floor of the Senate this week for the victims. Talk about how South Carolina now seems to be, in many ways, leading the way through some very difficult times. Well, you know, uh, Martin Luther King said that, uh, uh, well, it was said about Martin Luther King that he did more for white people uh, and the South and black people because they exposed white people of goodwill to their consciences. And that has been happening in our city, and, and uh, I'll, I'll give you a long litany of, of, of achievements and racial progress. Why I ran for mayor to begin with uh, 39 uh, and a half years ago to bring our community together, and we've seen that. And, and this uh, this event caused that to, to become public. You just saw the feeling. So uh, we are, I think we have been leaders in, in racial unity and racial progress, and understanding. We're working to build the International African American Museum here, which will tell stories. Forty percent of all enslaved Africans came to North America, came here, and we're going to build a museum to honor that history and help our country understand a part of a history. We don't know African American history, and that's part of the ultimate solution for us to know each other and, and the role of African Americans in building our country. Mayor Joe Riley, State Representative Todd Rutherford, thank you very thank much. Thank you all so much for your leadership. And coming up with our live coverage here in Charleston, South Carolina, we're going to have Congressman Mark Sanford and Congressman Jim Clyburn straight ahead.